In this video, we're going to take a bit of a deeper look at converting images to sketched effects or artistic looks in Corel Draw. We did a video on this a couple weeks ago, and then we got a couple of emails back. Users were saying that they were struggling keeping their shadows in their sketch conversions, and they were wondering if there was a way to fix that or to be able to convert those images to sketches and then keep the shadows in the image. So we'll go ahead and we'll expand upon that technique in this video, and we'll see how we can create a very realistic sketch look and yet be able to preserve, work with, and actually edit or manipulate our shadows. Here I've got a cute little puppy, and I made a couple of different sketch effects with him here. One's a pencil look, and the other one's a color pencil look. Very easy to do in Corel Draw. It just took me literally a matter of one or two minutes to set up. Now let's go ahead and see how we'd set something up like this, and how we could use it for virtually any type of image and be able to maintain our shading and highlighting in the image. Go ahead and duplicate this two times here. I'll work with this image here. Go to Bitmaps, Mode, and Grayscale. Go ahead and copy that. Paste that back in. I'll go to Effects, Transform, and Invert. Now I'm going to go over to my Transparency tool, my Interactive Tools. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select Uniform. I'm going to come down here to Color Dodge. I'm going to slide that all the way back to zero. Get my Pick tool here and we'll go to Bitmaps, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Now that comes out at six pixels. Now you can see we've got some nice lines for the hair and the pencil lines, but we've lost all the shading. It's particularly in images like this where there isn't a lot of shading. It's a very neutral type of image. There's some saturation and brightness in here, but it's kind of even or flattened out. Now that being the case, I actually kind of like the look of this right about here in the six pixel range. Maybe something like right about there. And you can change that as you change the blur. And we'll go ahead and select OK. Now that being done, I'm just going to take this image over here that I also duplicated. Actually duplicate that one more time. Select that again. I'll go to Bitmaps, Mode, and Grayscale again. And this is I'm going to use. I'm going to use a different effect. I'm going to go to Bitmaps. I'm going to come down here to Art Strokes. And then I'm going to go to Wave Paper. And we can see that effect. Now we can see that sketch effect happening really in the shading areas of the image. So we can add that to the effect that we created with our blur and the color dodge. And you can change how this effect is looking or how much of it is applied. So go ahead and select OK. Now I've got one problem with this and that's the fact that I have this gray now in the background. I really want to remove that. That's very easy to do. All I need to do is go to Effects, Adjust, and I'll come over here to Tone Curve. Make sure you set this to straight. Just start up here at the top, left click, hold down, move this over, and you can see we can pull that gray out and keep the shading. Select OK, now that's been processed. I'll go ahead and duplicate this on top of the effect I made with the blur and the color burn. Hit C and E to center everything, and I'll go ahead and change this transparency to a multiply and I can slide that down and adjust that. And here you can see I've got a very nice pencil or sketch look. The nice part about this is the fact that I also have some lines in here that kind of look more like somebody took a pencil and actually stroked them out along with the shading. Now you can take this image and you can also do something like select everything and go to bitmaps, convert to bitmap, RGB, I'll select 150, select OK, and I can click on edit bitmap here and I can make further adjustments very quickly and easily in Corel Photo Paint once the image opens. Go ahead and maximize this. I'll come over here to my paintbrush, come down here to Effects. I'll go over here and I'll select down here in the corner, Dodge and Burn. I'll change this to, let's say, this nib of 100. Might want something a little bit bigger than that. And I'm going to select over here, Burn Midtones. And that's going to change my brush for me. It'll go to 100. We'll bring this up to, say, about 400. And that might be a little bit too much. I'll bring that down to around 300. And I can just touch these areas here, and you can see they're darkening. With that setting, and I can add some more of the shading in and just touch that up to give it some more depth. Maybe down here where the ear comes in, etc. And I can touch that up a lot more, but I just wanted to demonstrate that for now. Then I can go ahead and save that. 
minimize that, go back to draw, and you can see the look we have compared to the original photo. You got a very nice sketch look using multiple techniques, working with the transparencies and the different image editing and image effects tools directly in Corel Draw. Now let's say I want to make that look like a colored pencil look. Well then I could do something as simple as removing the black from my image so that all that's left is the color. And I can do that by going to Effects, Adjust, and Channel Mixer. We'll go ahead and reset this. We'll go to the color model CMYK. We'll go to the Output Channel Black and where this slider is set at 100 just click and change that to zero, select OK, and that's the color in our image. Now we can take this image, duplicate that on top of the color, select both of them, hit the C and the E key to center everything, and I can come in here and change this transparency, uniform to multiply, bring that back, and get a nice sketch look. Now that looks kind of washed out or watery because the way that we pulled the black off of it. But if I want to improve that, I could do something like Effects, Adjust, and Tone Curve. And here I could pull it down to make the color a little bit darker or stronger for the image and select OK. Bring my black sketch back on top, hit C and E, and there you can see the sketch look or the pencil drawing. Now when we think about this and we think about t-shirt design and graphics and the things we're seeing on the stores and the retail shelves, once we understand how to work with the raster tools in CorelDRAW and the transparency modes, we can make some very powerful, very realistic looking artistic effects very easy working directly in CorelDRAW. And also be able to maintain our shading and highlighting, especially when we're working with images like this that we're struggling with the shading on because when we use the color dodge and the blur, it doesn't really preserve our shading but there's other tools that we can work with and then blend those together through transparencies to preserve that shading. So go ahead and wrap here relating to this tutorial and we'll see you in our next video.